All right, so what we're going to do today is the Worst Contracts Rebuild Challenge. I've assembled a team of all the worst contracts in baseball. If I did miss any, let me know some of them in the comment section down below. But this team consists of Pujols, Jacoby Ellsbury, what else we got? Miggy, Yachty, Russell Martin. You know, we'll talk about the team in a second. But some of the worst contracts in baseball, let's get into it. I think this is going to be a good rebuild challenge. I think it's going to be tough. So as you guys can see, we do have a three-year window to try to rebuild this team. Ignore budgets is going to be off, so we do have to worry about budgets. Force trades is off, so no crazy stuff like that. I'm going to get the roster all set up to show you guys the lineup and the pitching rotations. I'll be back in a sec. Alrighty, so look at this team. And you're probably thinking, well, some of these players have one-year deals. Wouldn't it just be easy to let them walk? And then you can just start the rebuild from there. No, what I'm going to do is we're going to trade away all the one year contracts and try to pick up a player with at least two seasons on it. If I can't find a trade that works out, I'll have to sign or trade for a player with a one year contract, but I have to re-sign that player. So say we take Rich Hill, whose contract does expire at the end of the year. What we'll do is we'll try to find a trade for a two year, three year deal. But if we can't, we'll take a one year deal and we have to sign that player no matter what. So it does add a little bit more of a difficult aspect to this rebuild. So let's talk about this team. Let's get it set up. Rich Hill, $16 million. Johnny Cueto, we got 21.7. Jordan Zimmerman, 23.6 by the end of his contract. Danny Duffy is making 15.3. King Felix, 25. So he's going to be one of those players that we're going to have to try to find a new, new contract for. Uh, Tyler Chatwood, 12.7. Scott Oberg is not the player I wanted from the Rockies. I actually wanted Jake McGee. So what we'll do right now is we'll just trade Scott Oberg for Jake McGee, who makes more money, clearly, and it's gross. So now when we throw him in the lineup, we got Jake McGee. Where's Jake McGee? Jake McGee making 9.7 by the end of his, not Scott Oberg. We have Nathan Eovaldi making 17, Wei Yin Chen, 18.3, Ian Kennedy, 16.5, Wade Davis, 10, uh, no, 17.3, and Brandon Morrow makes 10.5. That's a lot of money invested into some pitching. We're definitely over budget just by looking at the pitching. When we look at the actual lineup on the bench, we got Chris Davis making 23 million, Russell Martin makes 16.4, Yohannes Cespedes, 29.6. Ian Desmond, just what? 16.8 this year. It goes down, but it's still gross money. Uh, we got Evan Longoria up to 20. Zach Cozart makes 12.7. Yachty's making 20. Pool holes making 27.4. We got Alex Gordon making 18.1. Jacoby Ellsbury's contract is off. He makes 153 million over seven years. Just what? where and why who thought that was a good idea 31 for miguel cabrera robinson cano 24 million and dexter fowler for 16.5 just oh man what six million over budget let's go make some trades let's get rid of some of those one-year contracts see if we can pick up any smaller deals so i forgot to get rid of joe musgrove and gregory polanco from the pirates so just to get rid of them find a prospect i went with wander franco of the rays that way we don't have any mlb ready players that we can just call up from the minors okay this is how you know the sim or the trade engine is garbage for MLB the show we're gonna pick up Jackie Bradley jr. For rich hill and you're probably thinking Jackie Bradley jr. Has a one-year deal he does but he has arbitration next year So we're gonna sign him regardless. Okay, Felix Hernandez Wander Franco and Lolo Sanchez for John means who's got you know a, a small contract for the next couple years We're getting mark trumbo who Has a one-year deal, but I'd be cool bringing him back um, next year He's got a power bat could help us out and then Jonathan VR, who has arbitration next season. So we'll definitely bring him back, um, especially since I have a feeling a couple players might retire anyways. All right. Salvador Perez from the Royals is being traded for Kebrian Hayes and Russell Martin. John Borman, Montana, Durapau, and then Alex Gordon are going to be traded for Fernando Romero and Marwin Gonzalez. All right. O'Neill Cruz and Tyler Chatwood are going to be traded for Ryan Rollison and Carlos Estevez of the Rockies. Two prospects Alrighty, so i was looking at it and uh mark trumbo we have a lot of first basemen 
and I probably wouldn't re-sign him at the end of the year anyways. Fernando Romero, yeah, he'd be a great luxury to have in the bullpen, but I feel like we should probably trade him along with the prospect to get a really solid pitcher. Hyunjin Ryu is a player I'd be cool with signing for a couple seasons. Let's bring him in. And then Jonathan VR again, would be a great luxury, but I can get two prospects for him who could help us out in the next coming, se coming seasons in Isan Diaz and Lewis Brinson. I think that might be a little bit better. All right, for season one, this is what we're working with. Hinjin Ryu, Johnny Cueto, John Means, Danny Duffy, Jordan Zimmerman, Wei Yun Chen, Eovaldi, Jake McGee, Ian Kennedy, Wade Davis, and Brandon Morrow. Lineups, Jackie Bradley Jr., Cano, Miggy, Ellsbury, Fowler, Pujol, Salvador Perez, Marwin Gonzalez, and Evan Longoria. You guys can see the rest of the squad here. Um, I'm not even going to focus on the draft season one. We're not going to be able to sign anybody based on our budget. So we're kind of in a tough spot. So season one, let's see what happens. All right, so 74 and 88. I mean, couldn't really expect too much more. Um, when we take a look at the league, we got some awards. A gold glove for Marwin Gonzalez. Okay, Acuna, MVP. All right, Mike Trout, MVP. Pretty solid. Um, no league leaders. Let's take a look where we were in the standings. We weren't last. That's good. We'll take a quick look at the playoff picture. You guys can see it on screen now. And now let's go take a look at our team. Hyunjin Rio, not a terrible season. Johnny Cueto, really solid. Holy cow. Um, Johnny Means, not terrible. Danny Duffy. Eh, you know, four and five starters, not going to freak out about it. Wei Yin Chen, pretty solid. Eovaldi, good. Um, Jake McGee, solid. Ian Kennedy, not so much. Wade Davis struggled a little bit. And then Brandon Morrow, not terrible. Really not terrible at all. I mean, only six blown saves. I mean, it's, we can definitely, like, we definitely overperformed in the pitching category. This is probably where we kind of struggled. Um, Yachty didn't do too terrible. He did drop 17 ratings though. So there's that. Cespedes is god awful. And then Ian Desmond is okay. Um, not terrible. Jackie Bradley Jr. Okay. Yes. I'm cool with that. Um, Robbie Cano, not terrible at I. I mean, that's not, that's not bad at all. Um, not, not too, ter not too terrible. Miggy, solid season. Jacoby Ellsbury, I mean, it's not bad. Dexter Fowler, really good. 312 average. Yeah, do that every year. We're good. Pool hole struggled a bit. Salvador Perez, pretty bad average. Um, yikes. Why is he unhappy? His contract. He was a everyday catcher. What are you talking about? That 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 could be a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um Who else were we looking at? Marwin Gonzalez. 240. 15 home runs. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not great, but um, definitely underperformed offensively. So overperformed pitching, underperformed hitting. Let's see who wins the World Series, and then we'll just kind of move forward. Indians defeat the Nationals. All right. And now this is the area I'm like kind of interested in seeing. Yachty and Pujols retired. Okay. So I kind of expected Cano to retire. He did not. So we still have quite a bit of contracts. I don't think we're going to be able to afford Ryu. No. So we're going to have to make some trades. Let me do that. All right. Not too sure how this one works out, but we're packaging rookie Davis and Yoana Cespedes for Jose Leclerc. All right. Normally would I take this trade? No. Johnny Cueto had a phenomenal season and I really wanted to keep him, but we're going to package him with Quinn Priester, who is right here. He's not really like any value for Keon Broxton, who has a really small contract. Artie Cano is going to the Dodgers for Alexis Gutierrez, who's actually a top 50 prospect. He's a he's a reliever, a closing pitcher. All right, Ian Desmond for Andrew Chafin. All right, so I still got to work some magic. Miguel Cabrera for Cody Stashik. Artie, um, we're gonna take Kevin Crone and Merrill Kelly for Wade Davis. Alrighty, Ian Kennedy and Keon Broxton, Broxton get us Zach Plesek of the Indians. We're going to take Keon Broxton back. Um, and we're going to send <laughs> Zach Plesek and Jordan Zimmerman to the Indians. This is just ridiculous. Continuing to finesse teams. Lamar Sparks, go join us for Zach Cozart. Roger Benitez for Jake McGee. We're literally clearing house. All right, so after that last trade that I showed you guys, this is what the team's looking like. John Means, we got him to re-sign. Uh, Hunter Harvey, Rule 5 draft, 
and Carlos Perez, we signed in free agency. So as you can see, a bunch of trades, but for free agency, we brought in Jose Zambrano, B potential player, probably going to trade him. Dylan Covey, we brought him in. Decent little pitcher, not terrible. Um, who else? Ronald Torres, Ryan Healy, and then we got Brandon Maurer from AAA, free agency. Um, and then Cam Vo. So just kind of trying to fill out the roster. Not much has changed. Um, our minor league roster is kind of weak. I'll let the CPU handle it. Um, they'll just sign a bunch of players. So the thing with the current lineup right now, as you guys can see it, Keon Broxton, we'll see how he does. Uh, we might end up trading him while he has some trade value. The team doesn't look terrible, um, but I definitely think we can make some more moves. Hunter Harvey being one of those guys that I picked in the Rule 5 draft just because he has trade value and I want to trade him and see if we can... Uh, Maybe get a better bat. Maybe get some more bullpen help. It all depends on what's really available for him. We're going to trade Hunter Harvey for Rizel Iglesias. It's not the craziest of deals, but it gets us someone that we could use for the next couple seasons. Jason Martin, Danny Duffy, and Mitch Keller. I actually was kind of hoping Mitch Keller would have been able to be used. Just his per nines aren't there yet for Aaron Nola. Huge acquisition for us. In free agency, I brought in Trevor Cahill to be a long reliever. And then when we look at the lineup, I brought in Ben Zobris to kind of just be a, a bench bat for us. Or even we could do this and then have Broxton be there. He'll Then Zobris can actually be our leadoff hitter, which actually I like a lot better. So with that being said, we can put Zobris there. We'll have Jackie Bradley Jr. there. And that works. Yeah. So Ben Zobris is now our leadoff hitter. And that, that, that works a little bit better. I kind of like that. So this is kind of the team. Is it a playoff bound team? I'm hoping so with the changes that we've made. We are still kind of weak, but I still feel like we're better than most teams. And we should be able to kind of sneak in for the playoffs. We'll see. I think the changes that we made worked. We're, we're within budget. So we definitely could even make a couple more changes if we wanted to. All right. Evan Longoria, Lewis Brinson for Carlos Santana. Can we get away with this trade without... We need to package Lewis Brinson into it. So that's fine. Carlos Santana either could play first or third for us. Let's let's take a look. So he's probably gonna maybe we'll just slot him over at third. Um and then we'll just we'll just rock with that for the year. Alright, so we did pretty similar to what we did last year. 73 and 89. A little bit of a disappointment. So uh any league leaders or awards. Marwin Gonzalez again with a gold glove. This time we were third. 17 games out and in the wild card we were 13 so it's going to be pretty tough to squeak ourselves into this postseason but i definitely think we can do it when we look at the pitching john means is looking like a really good option for us hinjin Rio, we're going to give another season to and then obviously aaron nola has a couple years on his contract when we look at the rest of the guys these two not so great neither was trevor cahill nathan eovaldi was a letdown carlos estevez or estevez was pretty bad as well chafin was bad Morrow was good. LeClerc has trade value, so he might be a player we look to move next season. And then Rizal Iglesias was all right. Um, so we'll see what we do there. I saw Brandon Morrow's gone down quite a bit in overall as well. So maybe it's time for him uh, to just let him go. Ronald Torres is pretty good as a bench bat. Chris Davis wasn't bad in his limited appearances. Jacoby Ellsbury was meh. And then Kevin Crone, not too bad. Not too bad. So he might be a player I want to get into the squad somehow maybe replacing ryan healy and we just trade ryan healy let kevin crone take over at first so let's take a look at the squad ben zobrist high contact obviously dexter fowler's just really good i don't understand it what is going on here um so i'm cool keeping him around salvador perez was oh okay i feel like we could trade him and get a better catcher carlos santana was all right marwin gonzalez not terrible i mean Pretty similar numbers when you would expect a little bit more from Carlos Santana. Um, Jackie Bradley Jr. had a really good year. He hits free agency this year, but I don't know if I'll pay him. Keon Broxton was okay. Ryan Healy was okay. And Hassan Diaz put up 20 home runs. Not going to complain about that, but average and stuff, not that great. So, season three, it's our last chance to do it. Let's see who wins here. The Brewers defeat the Astros. Okay. So, retired players, Jacoby Ellsbury is really the only one, which is a little disappointing that 
wasn't any of our older players. When we look at negotiations, I mean, Marwin Gonzalez hasn't been terrible for us, but is he going to want a lot? Three. I mean, just to be safe, let's just let everybody go. We can always try to re-sign them if necessary. Um, and then we'll do that. And then uh, arbitration. Kian Broxton. Just, it's not a lot. Torres, it's not a bad bench player. We'll, we'll offer him his. And then contracts and stuff. I'm assuming everyone's going to get one. And then free agency, we're definitely going to make some pickups. Alrighty, still in the offseason, Leclerc and Eovaldi for Semyon. I know I'm giving up two pretty big names. Actually, just two higher overall players. But um, Marcus Semyon is a decent shortstop. There aren't really any decent shortstops available in free agency. Alright, before Season 3 starts, Chris Devensky is going to be joining us for Ryan Rollison. I want to strengthen this bullpen a lot. Carlos Estevez and Alexis Gutierrez are going to be traded for Trevor Hildenberger. And I think that might be good enough. Um, I'm going to show you our acquisitions from the offseason. A lot of free agents. A lot of free agents. Um, Jeremy Hellickson, maybe as a fifth man or even a long reliever. Jacob Barnes from Rule 5 Draft. A lot of these free agents have been just to fill out the roster. Obviously, Chris uh, Devensky, Hildenberger. And then what we'll get into is who we actually signed. Michael Brantley is one of them. I mean, he's just a good contact hitter. We kind of need that. Backup catcher and Carlos Perez. And then Marcus Semyon through the trade. We brought in Jerkson Profar, who's actually been hitting the ball quite well. We needed him, so we moved him to second. And then had Isan Diaz play third. Jose Alvarez as a decent lefty. And then um, I think that might be it. Robbie Erlin was a player we brought in from a free agency. And Mike Miner as well. I think that's it. I think that's it. So when we look at the lineup, you guys can see it. It's better. It's a lot stronger than what it normally is. Um, we're going to give Kevin Crone some shots at first base, more more reps. So you can see Nola, Ryu, Means, Miner, and Helixson. This is kind of the weak spot right here is Covey. Outside of that, I mean, look at the look at the bullpen. Ooh, that's strong. I like that. Um, we don't really have any other prospects to trade away. So I think we're just going to rock with this for the season. Season three, can we finally make the postseason? That would be amazing we stayed within budget once again and i mean that was really the tough part of this rebuild could we stay within budget and build a team and that's been the toughest part it's kind of like the money ball rebuild you just have to keep trading players and keep trading players and keep trading players until you're within budget and that's the, that's just so hard with such a weird and difficult budget system in mlb to work with it's just not it's just not really easy to read so you kind of just have to guess and pray and hope that you're within budget. So we're going to rock with this. We're going to see how it goes. Let's see how season three plays out. All right. So I'm guessing the, the, the MLB is just garbage because we went 86 and 76 and won the division. I'm sorry. What? Huh? We didn't even have any league leaders or awards. I mean, the central was just yikes. I mean, it kind of looks like how the central is now in real life, but, uh, the Dodgers won 107 games, so if we have to come up against them, we're we're done. Like we're we're out of it. Game over. I mean, the Rays and the Yankees won 100 games. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, let me let me show you guys something. We're ranked 19th. Like, are we great? No, but we made the postseason, so that's all that matters. <laughs> um, Aaron Nola had a phenomenal season. Not too sure how he didn't win Cy Young. Um, that's those are great numbers. Same with Yun Jin Ryu. Unreal. Two really good pitchers helped us out there. Who won Cy Young instead? Walker Bueller. Okay. Fair enough. Touche CPU. You got it there. So John Means was really good as well. Solid stats right there. Mike Miner as well. Great little one year pickup for us. And even Jeremy Hellickson was really good out of free agency. We just picked him up right before the season started. And uh, he pitched really well Robbie Erlin struggled in this long relief role so what we'll do is we'll move him to the setup role he kind of works better in that role normally anyways um, looks like our bullpen was what really hurt us yeah throughout ev like everybody just really bad besides Rizal Iglesias that was really about it everybody and uh, Trevor Hildenberger outside of that it seems like our bullpen was our biggest downfall like that just really hurt us so 
let's take a look at the lineup see how things went it looks like our uh our bench was pretty bad too yikes um <laughs> whoa Ooh, that's not good uh when we look at our starting lineup though dexter fowler just continues to hit the ball well 37 doubles i didn't even see he had 42 last year jerkson pro far 243 um a little bit down from last season uh, maybe because we had him a little bit too high in the lineup. Michael Brantley did quite well. 285, 35 doubles. I'll take that from him. Salvador Perez had his best offensive season with us so far. I'll take that. 34 home runs from a catcher. Unless you're Gary Sanchez, that doesn't happen. Marcus Semien, 24 home runs, 29 doubles. A little bit of down, like a, a down step from the previous season. But again, it's been better than what we've been getting. Isan Diaz. He's going to get better. So, I mean, it's still pretty solid, pretty comparable to what he did last year. Um, Beyond Croxton. How you doing, Dut? I mean, 16 home runs for a guy who's got 31 vision. I will take it. Like, that's better than what I was expecting. Ryan Healy as our DH was pretty good. 304. And then Kevin Crone. I'll take that. So, for a team that's realistically got carried by our, by our starting pitching... And our bullpen blew a bunch of games, kind of like the real-life Cubs. I'm pretty happy with the way the team went. Especially for a team that had absolutely nothing to work with because of the budget constraints. So, postseason time. Yes. Love it. Gotta love it. We'll quick manage this one. I'm expecting a slap in the face by the Phillies. But you never know. We might end up winning. So, they got Segura... Cesar Hernandez. I mean, looking at their team, Inciarte is really the only new addition along with Danny Duffy as I move myself so you guys stop complaining about seeing the stamina. So let's go. Great start to the game. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Um, we got thrown out at home. We're still simulating, keeping going. We'll just simulate by half inning so we don't have to watch everything. So we're still down one. Um, I mean... I'm sorry, we just put up five. I'll take that for sure. Um, five to two. How's John Means doing? We'll we'll take him out. We'll go to um, we'll go to Moro. We'll simulate the inning. That's good. I like that. Added on two more. We'll take him out. We'll bring in Davinsky. Seven to two. We'll let Davinsky finish the game, and we actually won. What are the odds? A lot better than I expected, actually. So we'll quick manage it again. Um, we'll just do that half inning at a time. We're going to let Mike Miner go. And let's just do it. Half inning. We're down two to one. Adonis Medina is pitching for them. Okay. Can we maybe tack on another run? We do. Make it two to two. Now it's three to three. Uh, Mike Miner is 100% done there. Holy cow. Alvarez gets us out of that inning. Um, we'll just have him face him. And then we'll go to Moro again. Can we walk it off? We cannot. Moro, solid, walk it off. We do. What is going on here? I was not expecting this at all. Holy cow. So, quick manage this one. Uh, Yeah, Aaron Nola, face your fa former team and let's let's go. See if we can win. Cole Irvin's on the mound. 2-2 two two ball game. 4-2 to two, us. Are we about to do a reverse sweep on them? 6-3. That was his last inning for sure. We're going to go to the bullpen. And we're going to let Davinsky go. Perfect. Perfect. We're going to pitching change. We're going to go to our closer. And Rizel Iglesias blew it. You got to love it. You got to love it. Okay. Solid. It was leading up to a phenomenal playoff push. But it got blown by Rizel Iglesias, awesome. Also, looking at it, I mean, our offense was okay. But to be honest, to think that we were able to go from a team that was $6 million over budget, completely change the squad, and end up with what we did, I'm pretty happy with what we have. Do we have a lot of money to work with? Looking at the budget for the future years, Chris Davis might retire. Dexter Fowler, I'd probably let walk. Perez, keep him or not. Rizal Iglesias, I'd let walk. But for the most part... 
it's a pretty solid team and i like what we were able to do in just three years so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and as always in the comment section not only should you let me know some other contracts that i missed but also what videos you'd like to see in the future i'll catch you all in the next video peace